y'all. It is currently December 3rd in the morning. It's just now getting light outside. Um, I'm actually sitting in a tower stand. Uh, my goal is to kind of do an observation sit and be able to see these deer. I can see a lot of land from here. Uh, be able to spot a nice buck, hopefully, and then make try and make a move on him. Uh, that's my goal. So, and I actually just had a small buck come in, and then three does. Three does were coming right beside me, um, but it looks like that buck chased him off. So. Let me see. I might be able to get footage of him still. Sure, what all has been picking up right there, but well, I don't think you're really able to see him that well. But it's just barely getting light, but uh, not a bad start. I couldn't tell if it was a six point or an eight point, but <clears throat> he definitely kind of went off with those does so. I'll show you guys what else I see. Small buck. Can't tell if it's a six point or an eight point. That's the same one I just saw this morning, I'm pretty sure. He just came back. He's kind of small and young, though, you can tell. A bad way to start the morning, y'all. Let's keep waiting. I mean, it's only been daylight for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes now, so excited to uh, see what else comes in, see what else I can see. Hopefully a mature buck comes by and we can try and make a move on him, so stay tuned. Alright y'all, update. I saw a buck. I saw a nice shooter. I didn't
right, y'all. Well, as you can see, another trip with no buck. But uh, it was a fun trip. Definitely uh, some cool experiences. Tried some new things. That's the first time I've ever rattled in any deer, uh, let alone a nice buck. I'm not sure how much of the video that you can see. Those two does come in first while I'm rattling, and then there was a nice shooter buck behind them. Um, but those ducks, those bucks, or does, excuse me, literally came within five yards of me and then spooked. So, uh, and that buck followed them. And he, they went off about 20 yards or so, bedded back down. He had those doe, at least one of those does, he was locked down with her. So, just couldn't uh, couldn't get him back back out there. Tried a couple different other rattling sequences, moved moved spots, and just never worked out. And then this morning uh, had those three bucks come in. One of them was not too bad of a six point, but still too young and not wide enough. Uh, we have an antler restriction here in this county, so got to be at least 13 inches wide. Uh, but definitely cool experience um i'm not sure again how much of footage i got i haven't had a chance to go look at it um also last night shot at that pig definitely hit the pig found the arrow it was a pass through but not a lot of blood on the arrow no blood trail there's like you could see the pig hair on the air on the arrow the broadhead had expanded so i know i hit him and then there was there was a little bit of blood on the fletching so i know it went all the way through but uh i think i got mostly like just meat and muscle not uh didn't look like any vitals so he ran off he's probably gonna live to be honest um he might have run off and died somewhere not sure we looked for him again today couldn't find him so no blood trail whatsoever so i'm assuming he's gonna he's gonna live those pigs are pretty tough so um Anyway, very, really fun weekend. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, there's just a couple more weekends left, or a couple more weeks left in, uh, in deer season, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get up here the next few weekends and be able to get it done on one of these bucks, but man, they're uh, few and far to come by where on our lease, so you get lucky every once in a while, but... They don't, uh, they don't come out much. They don't come to the feeders much, especially. So, we'll see. Uh, maybe there'll be some post-rut or secondary rut action, you know, next time I'm up there. Hopefully next weekend. So, stay tuned for, for more videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. We at least got to see a bunch of deer, so that was cool. Last night, those 13 does came in. That was the most deer I've ever seen in one sit uh, at our lease. So, that was awesome. At the end of the year, if I don't get a buck, I'm definitely going to take a doe. Um, just because we need to shoot some does. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Um, comment any video ideas you guys, or any videos you guys might want to see. Um, and I'll do my best to, to see if I can make it happen. But, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a good one.